Speaking of BYU getting ready for that, trying to increase their speed, they've hired a new speed coach. In fact, the uh, official title is Assistant Football Perform- Performance Coach Kevin Heiberger now joins us in the studio. Kevin, how's it going? It's going good. Thank you for having me. Did I get your title correctly? Yes. Assistant, yes. Assistant Football perform- Performance football Coach. Football Performance Coach. Okay. So you've been called the Speed Coach. Is that accurate? Are you coaching the speed? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm the one who uh, can coach the technique, get the technique down, uh, program the technique for the kids, and program the speed development for them as well. A lot of people are excited about this hire because this is a thing you always want to get faster, always want to get better. Um, so I guess where would you come from, and uh, what are your plans for BYU football? Um, so let me backtrack a little bit. I'm originally from Iowa. Uh, went to school at University of Iowa and Iowa State University, rivalry school. So it wasn't, it was good. Uh, <laughs> so I went there, was looking for a job, and the only thing I was able available were uh, internships at the time. So I finished my master's degree, went down to University of South Florida where I met Frank, and uh, he and I got along right away. And so we had the same thought process, same, same uh, coaching philosophy, same coaching technique. And I went with him to the University of North Texas for about eight, nine months. And financially, things fell through, and he helped me get a job at IMG Academy, where I was there for the past four years. And I was blessed enough to work with a guy named Lauren Seagrave, who's the top sprinting coach in the world. So we dealt with a lot of NFL combines and speed camps and worked with all athletics. Are there some, some notable guys you worked with that pe- people would know? Uh, Russell Wilson. Heard of him? Heard of him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Recognize that name somewhere. He's all right. Taylor Lewan, who's a tackle, Luke Jokel tackle, mm-hmm. very, drafted very high. Um, Justin Gilbert, uh, corner, went to Browns. Ooh, put me on a spot here. There's a, uh, Stephen Hill, Mohamed Sanu, uh, Kirk Cousins, a lot of guys that uh, came guys through our league. place. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now uh, you've been hired again by, you're working with Frank Winterick yes. again. Um, so he, I assume he's the football performance coach, performance coach, and then you work specifically on speed with guys. Is that the hierarchy ish? Sort of, I guess. How, I mean, how is we, it? But we work really, really close together, mm-hmm. and so it's it's a give and take. You know, we come up with some ideas, try to come up with some really creative ideas, like, well, what do you think about this? Well, let's try this. You know, and just kind of really sit down. I mean, we spend hours and hours programming just for the summer alone, just to get everything going. So uh, it's more of like a working with relationship than really working for. So it's really nice. I, I think that's the way it has to be because if, if your lifts and your, your exercises don't coincide with each other, then you know guys are, are doing two different things that, that are set on two different goals. But I, I, I love the fact that we got a speed coach now. What, what, was, what went into play for BYU bringing you on board for, for our team this year? Well, I mean, uh, Frank called me, and he was like, are you interested in coming to BYU? And I said, you bet. No question. So I leave Bradenton, come out, and I came actually earlier just to help out a little bit. Um, took some PTOs from my work before and worked with the guys, and we set up the programming and everything and really worked on just strictly acceleration technique, and that's the majority of the game. And so we would try to do a lot of wall drills, sled work, and then opens and just kind of repeat that process over and over and over until the guys technically got it from a neuromuscular standpoint, and that way they were able to run really quick and really fast. So we got to get it where it, it becomes automatic for them. NFL.com uh, released a list of the top 15 Heisman candidates. Taysom Hill was number 11 on Monday. And in that um, summation of his game, they said he had okay speed. We laughed really hard at that. Uh, <laughs> did you see the Texas game, sir? <laughs> yeah. How would you define, uh, in the time you've gotten to know Taysom, t- his speed? Taysom is one of our obviously one of our top athletes and uh he has been really good with all the sprinting and and running we've only gotten really up to 15 20 yards of actually just getting to go uh Taysom's always in the front so he's got really good speed I don't have a time on him so I can't really give you but like it's a not okay speed no he's he's a really good athlete he's <laughs> he's actually incredible to be honest he um Tim Tebow came down to IMG and I compare him to really Tim Tebow just from a size standpoint Tim's probably a little bit bigger in the upper body, but uh, Hill's got him way better in the lower body. So I'd rather have Taysom as the as that aspect, <laughs> bigger bigger legs. Now, speed wise, would you compare him to Russell Wilson? Russell Russell ran, I believe, a four five seven, low low four six, high four five. Um, you know, and it, 
everything that's dictated on those 10 times, 20 times, and then the last 20, we can always break it down that way and just kind of figure out, okay, does he need more top end speed? Does he need more acceleration? Um, not having Taysom's numbers, it's hard for me to like say, yeah, he's that fast. But just looking from my eyeball test, he's, he's, he's something special. Who's the fastest guy on the team so far? Oh, geez. Put me on the spot. You'll we'll probably hear this back from the guys. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh man. Um, so far, uh, Harvey. Harvey's pretty fast. Langley. He's really, really fast. Our wow. linebacker. He's he's something special. Um, some of our wide receiver, Mitch. He's really quick. Devon's very, very quick. So we got some guys um, from a size standpoint that are are has some pretty good ability. Uh, we talk about speed, and it, it seems like there's quickness, which is make you miss. Uh, speed, and then there's straight end speed, you know, outrun a guy. H how do you define and work with that with the guys? Well, so we break it down to linear speed and change of direction. So one day we'll do strictly linear, another day we'll do strictly change of direction. So I guess what you're talking about, like quickness, be able to move and juke, that'd be our change of direction day mm -hmm. where we can kind of break it down there. And when we do change of direction type exercises, we're looking at can they get their cleats into the ground, can they get their heel down into the ground, and then change directions when we're talking linear speed we're talking hit the ball the foot don't let your heel touch don't drop your toe and get the knee up high and apply force we look at it as from if we can increase their speed from a linear aspect in a general sense we're going to get faster overall as a team meaning multi-direction because they can take those same they're using the same muscle groups going laterally that they are linearly so if we get faster in a linear sense we're going to get much much faster in the change of direction even, even though we are still spending a lot of time working on getting those cleats down and change direction. Which position group needs your coaching the most? Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'm, uh, I'm assigned the wide receivers and defensive backs, and which is good because I can teach them more max velocity um, technique, which those guys will be covering up to 60 yards distance max or even more. Um, it's kind of like when you get closer to the ball, strength is what applies, you know, O-lineman, D-lineman. But as you get further away from the ball, strength – Yes, it's important, but speed really, really becomes important. So as we get further away from the ball, that's where I take over, and I really work with the wide receivers and defensive backs. So would would Frank be working? Frank Wintrich be working more with the offensive line and defensive line? Yes, lines? he works. He works with the okay. uh, O line, D line, uh, specifically when we get into our specific groups. But right now, we're, we're all working together and trying to get everything going with the group as the guys. Physically, that seems like that that equates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he works with the lineman. No, but you work with the. But my question is, dude. if you're like a combo guy, say linebacker, running back, I don't know where the quarterbacks fit in there. Maybe with the skill with the um, receivers and DBs. But if you're a linebacker or running back, do you get 50-50 from both you and Frank? Well, and Coach Justin, he's uh, he works with our linebackers specifically, and when we get into our break off into our individual groups, he he has a he has a real good challenge. Uh, of working both, we got to get really, really strong, but we also got to be able to move. And so he's going to be dabbing both um, from a strength aspect and from a speed aspect. He's going to be doing both. So, well, what, what's what's in store for the guys uh, in the next couple months as they kind of have to do player run practices and kind of how much involvement do you get with them? Um, from the the practices standpoint, well, uh, your involvement. Well, my involvement, I. When they get actually get into practice, we uh, obviously warm them up and get them with the ready prep, and that's got to look sharp. It's got to be on point when we do that because that starts the whole theme and that actually sets the tone for our whole practice. Um, but then once they're done with that, we kind of we kind of monitor the group, make sure they're going where they need to, uh, moving quick to the next next station, the next station. That we're always we're always on a. a firing on all cylinders, basically, you know, when we get to one group to the next. So in the next three months, you can actually observe and coach a little bit? Well, There's I mean, some restrictions, <laughs> right? Well, I'll have, like, a lot of us, I'll have some injured guys. Once they're done with working with our athletic trainer and PT, I can deal with them. So if they have one bad leg, I can work with the other leg and the two arms and their torso. Uh, so they're always going to be something to do, and there's always something busy. Right now, when we get into the summer, my teaching aspect and Frank's and everybody else, Justin, will be really working on hammering down technique and getting the feet down and just work on simple skills that will help transfer and translate over to what they do in practice. Well, sounds awesome. Michael, Lisa, I think you needed to get like an extra year. Uh, I'm not <laughs> hearing all this. I probably could have actually been fast for once in my, in my career. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Missed out. Awesome. Well, we'll, we'll catch you in the future. Uh, the other co-host who's normally here, Spencer Linton, 
Uh, he said that he could run a four nine forty. He ran four a, nine. He ran a five three five. So white dude, thirty three years old. Could you get him to four nine? Whose whose athletic uh, prowess was thirteen years ago? And what did he, what did he run the forty m? Five three five. He's got a chance. Mm. He's got a chance. Oh, you've we, given him so much hope. Well, I the only reason I say this because when we when we work uh, from our past numbers at IMG. In the 40-yard dash, on average, we drop people's 40 times by two-tenths of a second, mm. up to four-tenths of a second. But 33-year-olds. I want to give him hope. I want to give him hope. <laughs> and in order for him to run a 4 he would have to drop it by 0. .45 seconds. Yeah, so, I mean. So that, that's a push. That's, it, it is a push. I, I give him a high high five. Or, no, I'm sorry, low five, high 4-9. If he gets a 4 nine, nine, he'll be like, oh, I did 4-9. We're like, come yeah. on, dude. Yeah, that would be pretty good. But. Kevin, great to meet you. Appreciate the time. I know a lot of people are excited about you being here. Yeah, I'm excited. and it's, I'm very humbled to be here. Uh, thank the coaches a lot, and I'm looking forward to next, this coming season. It's going to well, be a blast. We'll have you back in because we've got to dig into how you have Spencer. <laughs> yeah, we've got to get him fast. <laughs> Kevin Eiberger, new uh, assistant football performance coach, the speed guy on campus.